are gonna love this house. It is just got so many cool features. I can't wait to show you everything in there. First of all, location, location, location. This is in a highly sought after subdivision, Cedar Ridge. Cedar Ridge is right in the heart of Idaho Falls. So quick and easy to everything. You are right close to Community Park. You can be all the major shopping on 17th Street in minutes. You can be at the river and the Greenbelt in minutes. If you're looking for the schools, this um, is in the um, boundaries of Longfellow Elementary. Taylorville Middle School and Idaho Falls High School. This neighborhood is so lovely. All of the houses were, were probably built mainly in the 90s, so tons of beautiful trees, beautiful trees. This is on a quiet little cul-de-sac, so you don't have any through traffic. This house is just gorgeous. The outside looks beautiful, and wait till you see everything inside. I want you to notice first, we have a brand new roof that was just put on and you're getting new gutters here in the next few weeks. So this house, there's so many things that have been updated. Let's get in, take a look and let's get inside. So this home is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom house. It's got tons of entertaining space, lots of open spaces. It was built in 1990 and you've got huge vaulted ceilings and so many cool things. This is the first entry landing. All of the bedrooms are upstairs, and then you've got an amazing fully finished basement with a whole built-in office. You're gonna to wanna to see that. Let's first start in the kitchen. You come in, you've got beautiful giant tiled floors. You've got really fun accents. What I really love about this house is even though it's updated, they chose to stick with this beautiful wood. So if you're someone who is sick of seeing all the white cabinets, this house is full of warm, warm wood. So this kitchen is lovely. You've got a giant butcher block um, countertop. You've got newer appliances. You've got your fridge, but look at this. Cabinets, cabinets, cabinets granite countertops. Now, this floor plan normally doesn't have a pantry, which is a big complaint um, for a lot of people. They're like, I'd like to have a pantry, but this owner has changed this floor plan and added this beautiful butler's pantry. So you've got plenty of space right behind the kitchen to um, add additional storage in this kitchen. As we take a look here, you've got your first exit out into this gorgeous park-like backyard plenty of space for a table, and it leads you right down into the family room. Um, in the family room. Now, I didn't point out when we walked in the living room, and there's a special little surprise, so hang until the end, because I'm gonna show you what's uh, been added to this house. So take just two steps down, and you come into this family room. What I love about this floor plan is you get all of this open concept between the kitchen and dining room, but you get a little bit of separation. So you're not sitting in your kitchen with your couch, tons of space. You've got a great gas fireplace here. This house has been upgraded with a new furnace and air conditioning unit. So a lot of houses in this age have electric ceiling heat or baseboard heat. This has gas forced air heat and a central AC. Plus you've got a gas stove. So you've got plenty of space in this, um, in this family room for a gathering. Now let's get outside and let's see this gorgeous backyard. What you're gonna notice first is you've of course got this beautiful stamped concrete patio. You've got a pergola, but this pergola is the second. So it, this is all ready to go if you wanted to have couches out here or a barbecue, but you also have a second covered back porch, which I just love that's in beautiful condition. Look at the trees and the leaves. This is like the perfect time because we're in fall, the leaves are falling and this is just gorgeous. Because of the age, all of this has grown in so it's super private here in the backyard. You're on just about a third of an acre lot. So if you look over here around the patio, you're gonna come in, there is a man door into that giant three car garage, which we're gonna look at here in just a second. And you've got a propane stove because the fireplace is propane. There's a shed right around and access to the front. All of this is beautiful, just tons of space, tons of garden. If you love gardening, it's all right here. Let's go in and take a look at even more space inside. We're gonna take a look at the garage. Now, if you are a garage lover, this garage is for you. Right here is access to a half bath. So the bedrooms are all upstairs. You've got tons of office space and a full bathroom downstairs, but you've got your guest bath right here and your laundry. So it's not quite main level laundry, but you've only got two steps and you've got a full laundry room and a half bath. Let's get in here and see this unbelievable garage. If you like to work in your garage, this is the place. All of the cabinetry and the shelving are included and staying. You can see you've got an amazing workbench right here. 
workbench with water and a sink. This is a fully insulated garage. And as you can see back in the back, it has a heater. So this is a heated insulated garage. You've got a 220 volt plug. If you're gonna use a welder or a air compressor, this garage is ready for anybody who likes to work. It's three cars, but that third bay is extra deep. And again, it has that man door out to the backyard. As we come into the basement, you're gonna see we have newer carpet, lots of space. Of course, they're ready for entertainment with the big TV on the wall. This is the already existing built-in home office. This home has Idaho Falls fiber, so high-speed fiber internet. If you work from home or school, you got tons of space right in here. And this is a little surprise in the closet. This is a Murphy bed. So if you're looking for additional guest space, this pulls down and you have an extra bed right here in your basement if you've got a visitor. Or a teenager that won't make their bed, you can just fold it up and put it back up in there because this downstairs also has a full bathroom. So this bathroom has beautiful tile work and that is actually a steam shower. So if you like the health benefits of a nice hot steam shower, it's right in the downstairs bathroom. Now let's take a look at the utility room that has all the guts. So what's really special about this house is so much new stuff. You have a brand new furnace with a dehumidifier and a new air conditioning unit. You've got a high efficiency 50 gallon water tank and you've got a new water softener. So again, this is just such a low maintenance house. So many updates have already been done. You don't even have to worry about it. Let's get up and see all three bedrooms and two full baths. Okay, we're here on the second floor where you've got three bedrooms. Let's start with the master. You've got a ton of space in the master bedroom. What I really love is this giant south facing picture window you just look out on this beautiful yard so great as we come here full walk-in closet and look at this bathroom i love the tile work in this bathroom you've got a full glass shower plus a giant jetted soaker tub but look at those glass blocks they just bring in so much light right across the way you're gonna get this giant walk-in closet. I mean, just tons of space, tons of space in this closet. This is a great master suite. You've got two more bedrooms and a full bath. They've updated the bathroom. So you've got that fun tile. You've got updated um, cement countertops and tiled shower and bathtub. Two really good sized bedrooms and those face out to the west. So you're gonna have plenty of light in the afternoon in these rooms. Let's get back downstairs and let's look at that little space we thought we, that we um, said wait till the end. Okay, let's get in here and take a look. Now, they decided to use this as a formal dining room, but again, formal living space, whatever it is that you feel like you want to do. I believe one of the owners had it as an art studio and she displayed art in this room. Beautiful west facing windows, so you have lots of light. This is the fun little addition. This floor plan a lot of times has a formal dining room off the back of the kitchen. But what they did is they put this wall up, gave you a beautiful pantry and have a little office space. So a really nice south facing windows, plenty of space for a home office, really nice little spot with a little pocket door. Let's go take one more look at that awesome kitchen. As you can see, this house is amazing. You're gonna to wanna to see it in person because it's even better in person. If you want a private tour, give me a call. And if you're watching this video, so are hundreds of buyers. Call me to list your home today.